evening and happy Halloween. As promised, I am doing a solo wild camp in uh, my usual spot in the forest. I've got some more lights this time. That bag has, has got three pumpkins in, a bit of production value. And I've got my head torch on, I've got a couple more lights as well. Um, basically, I'm just going to walk across these two fields. Um, apologies if you can't see too much. It's quite dark, it's a bit cold out. Um, and it's quite heavy fog and mist. So I can't really see too far in front. Um, the light's just bouncing right off of it. So, uh, and I've got plenty of cider as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the forest, my usual spot. I'll set up, set the lights up, set the pumpkins up, and hopefully with the lights I've got, I'll be able to show you what I've got with me in the dark soon see if not I'm gonna to film tomorrow morning anyway when it's light so uh, yeah everyone everyone today has said you're absolutely mad um, going out a camping on your own in the middle of nowhere <laughs> well it's not the middle of nowhere I know where it is so it's fine and also you're mad tonight because of course it's Halloween um, but the way I see it it's all psychological so uh, anyway I'll uh, I'll speak to you in a bit okay I'm in the forest I've just been setting up and uh, gone for a bit of production value got some pumpkins going This one, believe it or not, is Dracula. My mum made that and carved it. That one, just a typical stupid scary face. It looks classic Jack o' Lantern. That one I made tonight. That's my personal favourite. You can't go wrong with it. So, back to the camping side of things. I've got some bags there that I bought all the pumpkins in and that, just for storage. Um, I'll probably leave them here just to grab the pumpkins. Halloween. I've got classic favourite old moot cider, kiwi and lime, which happens to be at this current time my favourite. Old moot cider, passion fruit and apple. And then these are the two, I've never seen these before, blind pig cider of the night. <laughs> and it's got whiskey, honey and apple in it. Only small bottles, but they're 5.5%. So, see how that. I'm going to crack one of those out first. I'll let you know what they're like. So, yeah, that is the alcohol I've got. Move that to one side. So, I plan on drinking all that, and that'll lighten the load. I've got... I've cheated a bit. Sorry, Alex. I do apologise. I've got a fire log. So, that should burn for about two to three hours. Um... I'll try and get some sticks and stuff to burn with it. If not, I'll probably just burn that on its own, most likely. I have got a stove. I've got a gas stove. You know, my little BRS titanium one. And I've got uh, my little mini Esbit stand stove thing. All in there uh, is my 60 litre Mariposa. Um, got some gear. I'll show you what's in that in a minute. And then shelter of choice, you probably have not seen this one on video before. Uh, that's because I've never actually filmed. Oop. That was me, by the way. Um, I've never actually filmed this tent before on, on a wild camp. I have used it before. It is the Mountain Hardware, uh, Mountain Hardware Sprite one-man tent. 
it weighs, I think it weighs about, it's either a kilo or 1.3, but once again I've gone round with a pair of scissors, cut off any pockets, labels, straps, anything I don't need on it, and I've taken the pegs out that it came with, some really heavy pegs, and I've used like titanium shepherd's hook style pegs and MSR mini groundhog stakes particularly good stakes, can't go wrong with those uh, it's even got a little window on it um, it's quite spacious inside, I'm just going to move my pack out of the way oh yeah, and uh, that light the big bright light I bought, that's there um, hopefully it's throwing a significant amount of light on it it was really useful for setting up the tent and everything with I've just used a head torch really for like close you know close sort of work so so open the tent up you can tie that back um, it's got this really good uh, little, uh, cord like I don't know what you call it with a little uh, whipping lock uh, I'll just set you down for a minute and lock it I can't do it with one hand <laughs> That's what she said. So uh, yeah, it's a really well-made tent. Um, can't fault it. And uh, if I'm doing, okay, so I've uh, I've set up, and I'm inside the tent. Uh, it's got this little side bit here and a pocket there. It's got really, really spacious tent. It is the, uh, the Mountain Hardware Sprite One. One man tent, uh, weighs about, it's either one kilo or 1.3. And I have gone around with a pair of scissors, cut off any you know, tags or bits that are useless, not necessary to lighten it down and I've used lighter pegs I've used titanium shepherd's hooks style stakes and MSR mini groundhog stakes um, that big light that I was using I've just fixed it to a tree and it's brilliant for setting up in the dark uh, I suppose for production value keep the Halloween theme going I've got some pumpkins carve that one tonight classic jack-o-lantern then I've got just sort of a, a silly sort of scary face one and this one here uh, Dracula which my mum carved and uh, yeah not too bad the trick-or-treaters loved them anyway so yeah that is my shelter for tonight um, I've got my 60 litre Mariposa Gossamer gear rucksack very comfortable you can put a lot of weight in it and uh, as I say, I'm doing sort of a luxury camp tonight. It's not, you know, not an ultra light one or anything like that. The forest, you probably cannot see any of that. It's as black as your hat out here. Um, I've got, I've got a fire log. Uh, I apologise, Alex, if you're watching this. I know you would say that is a cardinal sin. Light a fire properly, like a proper man. Well, I've cheated. I've got a fire log out of Sainsbury's. It lasts about two to three hours. I can get some sticks for it or just burn it on its own probably and then alcohol always got to have some alcohol I thought quite fitting for Halloween I've got some blind pig cider of the night I've never seen this one before they're only small bottles it's 5.5 percent whiskey honey and apple in it as well I've got two of those I've got old moot cider kiwi and lime and then finally, I've got passion fruit and apple, old moot cider. So, I'm going to camp and be merry. Bags there, that was just what I stored the pumpkins in to carry them here and that. Very heavy. Um, and yeah, inside my rucksack, I have got... Let's see if I can do this. Whilst holding the camera. I really need to get a tripod. Okay. In case it rains, I've got my Montane Minimus rain jacket. Chuck it in a tent. It's a really spacious tent. For food, I've got, oh, I don't know if the light's going to allow you to see this. 
some meatballs and gravy. Um, soak up the booze. Oh, that's my feed bag as normal. I've got super noodles. There's a spork in there, uh, some drink mix, energy bars, hot chocolates, probably a cup of soup in there somewhere, Alka Seltzer. All good. Then ah, for the morning, got some porridge, vanilla and honey. Uh, the stoves I'm using, I have got somewhere in here, if you can see this. Ah, I've got my knife. In case you get any clowns, it's been a problem at the moment. Arseholes they are, but should be right out here. Oh, and I've got a fire still, that orange thing there, I've got a fire still attached to that. And I've got this little mighty light, it's a torch and a lantern all in one. So I'll hang that up inside the tent. Uh, I'll do that in a minute. Uh, I've got like just a little small RAC style mag light in my hand here. I've got a Petzl Ticker 2 head torch on. I've got that ridiculously bright thing over there. Um, wet wipes. Never know. <laughs> and then uh, that is the titanium roll up windshield for the stove. I mean, it's not windy tonight, so it should be okay. But it could help speed up the boil times. I've got my usual cook set. Titaner titanium 800ml uh, cook pot. And then I've got a 450ml, I think, Life Venture titanium mug in that. I've got my titanium Esbit, mini Esbit stove in there. Um, BRS titanium little mini gas stove. A bit overkill, I know. I've got two, f well, I've actually got three forms of cooking. I've got fire, haven't I, as well, soon gas canister but the gas is just quick and easy to cook off of you know peace of mind saves time uh, luxury item I can't, uh, there we go it's difficult to get the light to sort of focus on this that is uh, inflatable pillow luxury item then cocoon silk uh, sleeping liner sleeping bag liner sorry because I've got, as it's sort of, well, we're pretty much into winter now in this country anyway, I have got oh, my cumulus down sleeping bag, 650 grams, light as a feather. So, I want a sleeping bag liner for that, of course. Don't want to dirty the bag. Don't want to wash down if you can avoid it. And then I have got silver foam ridge rest, thermo rest, like a ridge rest full length pad uh, just to bounce the heat back up off of oh. and then on the back there that sort of brown thing, that's sort of forming the, the back frame of the pad, that is a full length self inflating red thermo rest pad, um, all this stuff I've got off of eBay, eBay is brilliant <laughs> I've got about 2 litres of plain water to cook with um, and drink if I need to sober up. <laughs> I've got a warm hat in there in the mesh bit and I think I've got some gloves. I know I've got a spare pair of socks. I've got a thermal long sleeve base layer to sleep in. And I've even got like a, I've got like a down gillet on as well. So thermal bottoms, I'm, I'm sorted really. Should be fine. Anyway, I'm going to get this stuff set up and I'm going to have a drink. I've earned a drink, um, get the fire log going and then get some food going, so uh, should be fun, yeah, um, I think it's coming up to about 11 o'clock at night, I got out here a bit early, about quarter to 10, 10 o'clock, um, just because I've got a lot of filming to do, a lot of stuff to set up this time, I hope he'll be carrying out a lot less, my total pack weight by the way, I know some of you are interested in that usually, um, total, like the rucksack, not the bags and stuff I was carrying, but the rucksack with the tent, you know, the, uh, the fire log in it, my bottles of water, cooking, excuse me, cooking stuff, lights, um, sleeping system. Uh, that total pack weight was 10 kilos on the nose, and then I probably was carrying about another 10 kilos in pumpkins and, and alcohol separately in my hands. 
so uh, yeah as I say I'm going to lose like half of that at least tomorrow morning so anyways right I'm going to get all this stuff set up have a drink cook some food I'll get back to you in a moment so I've uh, I've got my sleeping stuff set up um, here we go look how bright all these lights are <laughs> indoors it's going to be brilliant that's the little um, mighty light mini torch lantern thing the booze in there and pillow will set up my rucksack it's going to be under there down the sleeping bag I've got my cocoon silk sleeping light sleeping bag liner in there that's the f that red full length red firmarest self-inflating pad and then a foam thermo rest ridge rest silver ridge rest to sort of bounce the heat back up I've opened up a bottle of blind pig cider of the night <laughs> and a fire log I'll switch stuff don't need that anymore the uh, fire logs going just put a bit of tin foil down on it just in case didn't want it to catch anything set the forest alight pumpkins one two three they're all set up got my food set up here this is where I'll need this light there we go so yeah it's gonna be a good one I'm just gonna sit and relax in front of that fire log for a bit have a cider and uh and then I'll cook something so yeah so far so good more to come so on tonight's menu we have ciders we have chicken super noodles and we have the steam <laughs> go we have Frey Bentos meatballs in gravy all cooked on a mini gas stove you'd be surprised what you can cook I mean, that's nothing, that's a very basic meal, I guess. Um, fire log's still going really well. I've uh, I've just got on the fa got off the phone rather uh, from a very special young lady um, from Scotland, um, keeping me company through the night. If you're watching this, you know who you are. Wish you were here. You'd love it. Uh, well done with uh, getting your new job. And uh, I wish you luck with it. And uh, well, I'll speak to you <laughs> before this gets published anyway. So uh, anyway, so yeah, it is going well so far. It is a good night all round. Uh, and I think I have boilage. Yes, the meatballs have boiled. Okay more to come okay I thought I would do a quick gear review while I'm here so this little light that I've got here is very bright um, I'm not sure you can probably see it in this light I'll put it I'll put it next to the fire you can probably just about see it it's a little mini keyring light and it's by through night I think it's a T10 or TI10 I should have probably bought my headlight as well. I'll just grab that. And uh, just finishing off the uh, meatballs and the super noodles. They're very tasty, by the way. Um, okay, there's there's a lot. I'm going to try and get it to focus. So it's a through night and it's a TI3. Sorry. It's literally, look, so it's got a key ring and it's, look. That's how small it is. Now this is on the full, the highest beam. Okay. And uh, I'll be honest with you, the camera is not doing it justice. I'll just switch the headlight off. Well, I can see right into the forest with this. It is unbelievable. It's probably the most powerful torch like I've got and it's the and it's probably one of the smallest ones I've got other than the little photon 2 LED light I can't remember how many lumens it is 
Um, I know Pharaoh, Alan, who I subscribe to, I probably um, bore you all to death with. Um, uh, I don't mean any disrespect, Alan, by the way. Um, uh, yeah, he has done, I think, a review of this light. And uh, he does a reviews of lots of through night flashlights. They're really, really good. Uh, they're a bit expensive though, so that's the only problem. So I need to start saving. But yeah, this thing is so bright. I mean, literally like lightsaber. Um, it, it's unbelievable. Um, I'm really, really surprised at how bright it is. I mean, I've tried it out sort of in the house when it's dark but I mean look that's I've got my headlights switched off I've got no other lights on um, actually telling a light ah, switch that off and let's switch hang on bear with me <laughs> you should have planned this time shouldn't you there we go Okay, so I've got no other lights on apart from the fire and the pumpkins lit. And that is lighting up all of that. That's my rubbish bag, by the way. I'm two ciders in. The blind pig ciders are very good. I like. I like. <laughs> They're very nice. Um, that was an awful bore out impression. You have to forgive me. And yeah, I mean, look how bright this torch is. That's on the full setting. One AAA battery, that is. Um, I think it cost me about £16. I'm not sure, really. I can't remember. And uh, off of eBay, like brand new, come in a little tin. Um, absolutely brilliant. And it's got like different modes on it. You just twist the end cap like quickly and you can choose what ones there's like firefly there's like low medium this is the high setting and then after this there's a strobe setting as well it's brilliant i mean as you sort of leave it's on at the moment it is getting quite warm uh but yeah it's an unbelievable little mini flashlight i mean literally you could take this and a head torch and you, it's probably all you'd need for a wild camp honestly it's unbelievable I'm really, really impressed with this light. Uh, so, as Pharaoh always says, through night, brilliant. You make some brilliant lights. And uh, I'd definitely like to get some more, I think, off of the back of this one. I mean, it's so good. One AAA battery, that's, that's insane. Um, as I say, unfortunately, the camera is not doing it justice with the light. Um, it, it looks quite dark on the screen, but what I can see is it's unreal it's like a floodlight it's almost it's almost turning night into day so really really good anyway right I'll switch that off I'm going to get back to the super noodles and the meatballs they're absolutely brilliant and I'm on an old moot cider now okay so yeah So as you can see, the fire is dying down on my third side of there, old moot cider, uh, to remember what it is, passion fruit and apple, very nice, nearly finished that and then just keeping warm in here, I've got a hot chocolate, so I love that. When I'm in my sleeping bag, it's been a really, really good night. Really nice wild camp. As the fire is dying down, I can start to feel it is getting a little bit chilly, but I've got enough stuff to keep me warm. Once I get in that sleeping bag, I will be toasty. So, uh, there is my bed for the night. I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, it's all gone really well. So, I'll put the pumpkins out in a minute and just let the fire die down to embers and uh, I'm going to get some sleep so uh, you will see me in the morning good night and in the theme of the, the spirit of Halloween don't let the bed bugs bite <laughs> okay 
see him in the morning. Good morning. Uh, it's about half seven. Slept pretty well. Uh, it, it sounded like it was raining last night, but I, I, I'm not sure. Um, you can you might not be able to make it out, but just through the trees there is out to the fields. Um, and it looks like there's a really heavy fog and mist, as there was last night walking here. Uh, but other than that, it's not doesn't feel too cold. I'm really warm in my sleeping bag. I've got my long sleeve thermal top on. I've even got uh, like a warm hat on as well. Um, See, so yeah, I'm pretty toasty. I'm just doing some breakfast now. I'm just boiling some water on my BRS titanium gas stove. I think I've got boilage. I'm just going to do some uh, some hot chocolate, fudge flavoured hot chocolate, my um, porridge. So, uh, yep. Okay, just going to make breakfast. Uh, I'll chat to you in a bit. Okay, I've had breakfast. Very, very nice. Um, very warming. Um, I am going to get packed up. Um, what I'll do is, before I put everything in the rucksack, I'll just lay it all out and sort of do a quick gear list of stuff that I bought with me. Um, I'm probably going to be less than 10 kilos total pack weight now because I've got rid of all of the water, all of my food, uh, the fire log's gone, um, of course I've used some of the gas up, so uh, yeah, so it should be a bit lighter, probably significantly lighter, maybe 9 kilos or maybe slightly less, so uh, it's more than manageable, especially for the short trip home, so yeah, got out of the sleeping bag. Oh, you notice the difference in temperature. Um, it's so warm in that bag. It's absolutely brilliant. I've been toasty all night. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get packed up. So I will speak to you in a bit. So as you can see, I've uh, packed everything away. So I've just laid out all the equipment just to show you... Uh, what I'm taking. Uh, this of course wasn't including uh, like the fire log, uh, the alcohol, the pumpkins, all that sort of stuff. This is probably something I would take um, as like a winter wild camp setup and I, I suppose I could even do sort of a, a fairly long distance walk, maybe a two day walk, something like the Roach Valley Way, um, you know, where there's just like one overnighter so uh, and it's be quite luxurious as well um, I could go even lighter than this that's the thing um, but I mean this was very very comfortable setup I slept very well so yeah so I will start with I tell you what, let's start with the rucksack so that pointing at that's a Gossamer gear Mariposa it's the old version um, 60 litre rucksack, very good, it's got no frame to it so you know you need like a, a piece of foam like a sit pad or you know or a, a sleeping pad in the back of it to act as your as your backrest, very good pack. Then this uh, tarp, ground tarp that I'm, I've laid everything out on, that's polycryo ground tarp, it's basically like a painter's a painter's sheet that sort of thing you could use that and it's perfect for just like acting as like, like a footprint to put your tent or your shelter on bivy bag yeah sort of keep you up off the dirt then we'll come back this way actually so for sleeping arrangement I've got this thermo rest ridge rest silver ridge rest foam pad so that will go inside the pack and form like a shape and then what I'll do is I'll pack everything down into it there in the middle 
so you can fit a lot more stuff in a, a, a rucksack like a big rucksack like that with that and this is my full length uh, Thermarest self inflating pad so that went over the top of that it's extra comfort you see that will go in the back the back bit of the the Mariposa rucksack to give it that like to give it a, a backrest to give it a, like a semi stiff spine okay then uh, I've got a small uh, microfiber is it or a small small trekking towel gets used for cleaning up all the pots and wiping the tent down that sort of thing then 650 gram uh, cumulus down sleeping bag very warm um, I don't think it tells you what it goes down to it doesn't on there uh, cocoon silk mummy sleeping bag liner inflatable pillow then that's my stakes and there's 13 uh, stakes in there for the tent there's six MSR mini groundhog stakes and then seven titanium shepherd's hook stakes from another tent that I st stole the pegs from that is my Montane Minimus rain jacket, very lightweight it's the size of that, it packs down very small brilliant, brilliant rain jacket uh, that is the poles for the tent, the two poles the tent, that's the mountain hardware Sprite one, one man tent, weighs probably about a kilo now. I've put it in that uh, dry bag. Uh, it's a little bit damp at the moment, the tent, so I need to need to get it home, get it dried. Then, in case it got a bit chilly, I've got a pair of fingerless gloves, uh, an extra pair of socks to sleep in, in case the socks that I walked up in were wet. So you don't want to go to sleep with wet feet, you want to get a nice warm dry pair of socks on. A uh, nice warm hat with some ears on it. <laughs> this is my trademark hat, this. Um, I've had that years, so warm, slept in it last night. Um, on me, I've got like a down, down gilet, a fleece, I've got a thermal long sleeve top underneath that and a couple of t-shirts. It is a bit cold this morning. I've got my walking trousers on and thermal leggings on underneath that and then some walking socks and my uh, Salomon Fell Razor trail running trainers As I, say, I don't wear boots anymore for walking much prefer trail trainers okay then I've got my knife the paracord round it fire steel Swiss Army knife that's that little through night TI3 flashlight that was really bright that I showed you last night. Uh, cooking, I've got 450ml titanium mug, 800ml titanium cook pot, bag that they come in, a mesh bag, uh, gas canister, BRS titanium gas stove, a uh, little mini dropper bottle of multi purpose soap, mini lighter, some water purification tablets, three esbit cubes, a cotton wool ball that I soaked in Vaseline so it takes a spark really quick and light a fire, a small candle, box of waterproof matches, that tiny titanium esbit stove so put your fuel on there, put your pot on there, light it, boom so I've essentially had another stove, like a backup stove in case the gas runs out or plays up. Some tin foil, never leave home without tin foil. Then this was the food bag, I've eaten most of the stuff out of it. I've got two drink mixes, uh, two cereal bars left, a Brillo pad with soap in it to wash the pots up with afterwards, spork. Um, there's an Alka Seltzer in there as well. Got some uh, small pack of travel wet wipes. 
Uh, that is the titanium windshield that goes round the, the stove. Then lights, I had this sort of mag light style RAC light. <coughs> then that's my mighty light torch lantern. Just slide that out. Then hook it up to your tent. Yeah. And that's torch as well. Oh, that's seriously cool that uh, Petzl Ticker 2 head torch I do want to get a stronger like a more powerful head torch maybe like a through night one um, so I'm, I'm going to have a look around because that's compared to some of my other lights is actually quite weak now and I find I tend to use the head torch the most of course because I can just put it on my head and just go about doing stuff so yeah I wouldn't mind getting a stronger head torch and then this, not really a camping item, but it's absolutely brilliant. You can like hook it up, like if you was to put a screw in a tree or hang it off a twig or something, you can even stick it to something. And then, ridiculously bright, that lit up the whole area <laughs> last night so that I could uh, set the tent up with. Um, I think I'm gonna start taking that on all my hikes and it takes, I believe it takes one um, it takes yeah three AAA batteries so you know that's triple A's that's triple A's that's triple A's that I believe is triple A's as well um, of course the little three night TI three is to be honest if I was going really really lightweight and I had say a bivy bag or my Rab Ridge Raider like little bivy tent I would probably just take the head torch and the TI3 that thing is so bright those are the only two lights I think I'd really need um, I tend to take that one more as a luxury item for like if I'm using a tent I could... uh, yeah I can just hang that up in the tent and yeah but I mean it's not essential like that I used a bit that of course was very useful um, but as I say I could make do with like the, the little TI3 and the, the head torch um, so yeah so that is my gear list um, what I'm going to do is get it all packed up now in the rucksack I'm going to weigh it I've got a little set of travel scales with me uh, get it weighed to the pack weight and then I'm heading off home. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will speak to you in a sec. Okay, so that's kit all packed up. Okay. And it's weighing in at, I'm surprised at that, 5.8 kilos. Um, I've really dropped some weight there. Um, yeah 5.8 kilos as I say um, when I weighed it with all the food the fire log the fire log did weigh quite a bit to be honest and two litres of water I was it was in at 10 kilos total pack weight so that is my final total pack weight 5.8 kilos so I've lost just over 4 kilos you could class that as a big loser um, so yeah uh, I was quite pleased with that okay I'm all packed up as you can see leave no trace always practice that um, and I'm off so going through the clearing down to the ditch And as you can see, it's quite foggy today out. So uh, I'm off that way. And uh, all I've got to say is that was a, uh, a very good camp. So uh, thank you very much for watching. 
uh, please you know rate the video subscribe tell me if I'm doing anything wrong if I'm doing anything right uh, suggestions and you'll see me in the next one see you later